Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about pump cycle. So let's look at the example first. Pump cycling. Turn on a pump for 10 seconds, then off for 20 seconds and repeats this cycle. That means firstly, the pump will turn on for 10 seconds, then it will remain off for 20 seconds, then again 10 seconds on, 20 seconds off and it will repeat this process again and again. That is 10 seconds on, 20 seconds off, 10 seconds on, 20 seconds off and so on. So for this example, we will use normally open contacts and normally closed contacts. We will be also using a memory bit and some timers like pulse timer and on delay timer. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. So this is the interface of TI portal. Let's go to PLC tags, then default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So we have one input that is start button. I will write start button. And then we have one output that is pump. So we have only one input and one output. And then we will go to program blocks and main OB1. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. So I will zoom into it. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact that will be for switch and then I will insert a coil that will be for pump. So I will select pump from the list and then this pump should be on for 10 seconds. For that, I will insert a timer that will be pulse timer. So I will go to timer operation then TP. I will double click here and then click on OK. So this TP, so this TP, for this TP, I will set the preset value as 10 seconds. So when start button is pressed, when start button is turned on, then pump will turn on for 10 seconds and then it will turn off. And after that, I will open the branch and I will insert a coil. This coil will be used for a memory bit. So I will assign address to it as M0.0. .0. And we will use this M0.0 .0 to make the pump once again on after 20 seconds. So we will use this M0.0 .0 here as normally close contact. I will assign address to it as M0.0. .0. And this M0.0 .0 to turn on after 20 seconds. So for that, I will insert a timer T on that is an on delay timer and the pump should turn on after every 20 seconds. So the pulse timer will be 20 seconds. But this will start when pump is off. So here we will use a normally close contact and it will be as a pump. So when start button is turned on, as you can see here, this pump will turn on for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, when pump will turn off, then this normally closed contact will be in false state and in false state, the current will flow through it. And then this timer will start. So this timer will start after 20 seconds. So it will wait for 20 seconds. Then M0.0 .0 gets through. And here, when it gets through, it will not allow current to flow through it as a result as a result, the current will not flow through it. As a result, this M0.0 .0 gets off. It gets false. And when M0.0 .0 gets off, this M0.0 .0 as normally closed contact in false state, it will allow current to flow through it. As a result, this TP will once again, once again, uh, note the time. So this TP will allow current to flow through it and as a result it will turn on the pump. 
and the current will flow through this for 10 seconds only. As a result, this pump will remain on for 10 seconds and this process repeats again and again. So we will go to this option that uh, starts a simulation and then I will click on OK and then we will wait for some time. After that, I will click on load and after that, I will click on finish. So then we will start the CPU here by clicking on OK and then we will start monitoring. After that, we need to switch to the project view and there we need to create a new project. So firstly, we will create a new project here, Control N and then click on this create and let's wait for some time. After that, I will go to simulation table and simulation table 1 and then right click here and load project tax. So here, there is a start button here and I will turn it on. When I turn it on, this timer starts and this pump will turn on and it will remain on for 10 seconds. And after that, it will turn off and as a result, this T on will start and it will start and stop after 20 seconds and after 20 seconds this M0.0 .0 gets to this gets to this gets off and once again the pump will turn on and again the pump is turned on and it will remain on for 10 seconds after that it will wait again for 20 seconds and then again pump will turn on after 10 seconds it gets off and after that, after 20 seconds, this M0.1 gets through, this gets through, this gets off, and this gets off, and as a result, the pump will turn again on. So 12, 13, 14. And after that, this pump goes again on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.